Hello. Um, in this video, we are going to be analyzing uh, the Wisdom Bridge again. If you've been following my videos, you would know that uh, this is the exact same problem from um, Ketchup's Law Problem 9. And uh, we'll be doing it again using nodal analysis. So in order to solve this circuit, the first thing we want to do is to uh, identify all the essential nodes. So in this circuit, we have four essential nodes. One, two, three, four, four essential nodes. Then uh, the next thing we do is that we pick a reference node. So let's say we pick this node as our reference node. I'm going to attach a ground to it. Then we number the remaining uh, essential nodes. So let's make this node one, um, node two and node 3 okay so we can then proceed to writing the kvl uh, kcl equations at each node uh, node analysis style so at node 1 at node 1 uh, first thing I want to notice with node 1 is that node 1 is quite a special node because uh, it has a voltage source connected across it. And in order to uh, determine the node voltage V1, what we, do in what we will do in practical is to connect a uh, voltmeter across it. Like you put the negative terminal here and the positive terminal here. And what you are going to get as a region is 10 volts because you have a power um, a voltage source connected across it. So using this uh, thought process, without uh, even writing the KCL equation at node 1, we can conclude that V1 equals 10 volts, which is um, greatly, which has greatly simplified our problem. We can then proceed to node 2 and write KCL at node 2 at uh, node 2 what we say is uh, we write for this branch so that would be V2 minus V1 divided by 1 plus V2 minus V3 V2 minus V3 divided by 3 ohms plus V2 minus uh, 0, that's the reference node. V2 minus 0 divided by 4, everything equals to 0 according to um, according to Ketchup's current law. So say we multiply through by uh, 12, then we'd have 12 V to uh, minus 120 recall that v1 is equal to 120 uh, plus 4 v2 minus 3 minus 4 v3 plus 3 v2 equals 0 then we can further say that um 721 uh 719 v2 plus or minus minus 4 v3 equals 120 and we can call this our first equation um we can then proceed to node 3 so we say at node 3 and node 3 so we have um, this branch, that's three, V3 minus V1 divided by uh, 2, V3 minus V1 divided by 2. Then we write for this branch, that's V3 minus V2 divided by 3 plus V3 minus V2 divided by 3. Then we write for this branch, that's V3 minus 0 divided by 5. Plus uh, V3 minus 0 divided by 5. And by Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's current law, everything equals 0. So we can multiply through by uh, 
fi uh, 30 so we multiply through by 30 then we get our uh, 15 v 3 minus 15 v 1 plus 10 v 3 minus 10 v 2 plus 6 v 3 equals 0 then we can simplify this further to get our uh, that's 25 31 31 v 3 minus 15 v 1 minus 10 v 2 equals 0 recall that our uh, v1 equals 10 so we can just say that our uh, 31 v 3 minus 10 v 2 equals 150 and we can call this our equation then we can use a calculator to solve this simultaneously so then um v2 would be equals to 7.86 volts while v3 would be equals to 7.37 volts 38 volts so the next thing to do would be to actually calculate uh the current flowing through each resistor so to calculate the current flowing through the one ohm resistor that would be v1 minus v2 divided by um, R, um, 1 ohm which is 10 minus um, 7.86 divided by 1 which would give us 2.14 amperes then we say v1 minus v3 divided by 2 um, divided by 2 which would give us 1.31 amperes now say v2 minus v3 divided by 3 ohms which will give us 0 0.16 amperes then we say v2 minus 0 divided by 4 which will give us 1.97 amperes then v3 minus 0 divided by 5 which will give us 1.48 amperes and that's all for today um thank you for watching the video please do not forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell see you next time